Well, it happened. We thought it will, and it did. Ubisoft have finally thrown in the towel. It was predictable, and we were mostly waiting for it, and they finally did what probably should have been done months ago. Good day ladies and gents, my name is Hjelso and I'm disgusting and this is probably going to be my last Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed Shadows video for some time now. You see, it sometimes takes a bit longer for an idea to appear in the head of certain people or for them to be able to take the proper decisions or for enough things to happen to push them to make those decisions. And while it didn't seem that Ubisoft would actually go through with what they just did, there were just one too many blunders that they did in a very short amount of time that have stacked up and ultimately made them do what is considered the right thing. And I'm talking, of course, about this. This is an announcement from Ubisoft from yesterday regarding Assassin's Creed Shadows, in which they say that they're postponing the game until February 14th, 2025. This comes only a very short while after after the whole Tory Gate incident, which I did not manage to cover since I was away on some other business. This is an image of figurines from, of Yasuke and now we're sitting on a broken Tory Gate and this has gotten the internet absolutely ballistic over the past few days because it apparently depicts the broken Tory Gate in Nagasaki which has withstood after the atomic bombardment from World War II and this is some something like sacred which uh, it should not be depicted in this way, especially by a company that has proven to be disrespectful to Japan. And they did it. They, they absolutely blatantly did it, either by sheer lack of knowledge or lack of respect. And you can choose which one is it or both, because this is by far not the first time that Ubisoft and Assassin's Creed Shells have depicted something like this in, in their promo materials. But back to the community polls. Dear players, Assassin's Creed Shadows is a dream project for us, finally bringing the series to Feudal Japan with many features developed with our community in mind, such as parkour or the renewed stealth brought by new technology, all set in a beautiful and immersive world. I'm not someone who has played a lot of Assassin's Creed Shadows, and I've mentioned this in the past, but isn't parkour and stealth kind of like the core mechanic of Assassin's Creed? Am I missing something that happened? Have people been playing a racing game or something? What the hell are, are these people talking about? It, it's, uh, it sounds like it's written from someone who doesn't know what Assassin's Creed is. Even I know that. This is an ambitious addition to the franchise. Exactly like th this has been there for such a long time. A rich experience that can be lived through the eyes of two unique protagonists. But we realize we need more time to polish and refine the experience, pushing further some of our key features. So what I think they're trying to say is they need to polish the gameplay because the, the gameplay, the world trailer that I covered had some very, very big issues in terms of gameplay, like the cutting animation, some of the parkour style, some of the movement, the horse moonwalking like crazy on the pavement. Probably they're talking about that, but that that's like, that's just a portion of their problems. And even if they polish those out, the pushback for the game is already damning enough. And they're just digging themselves deeper with that statement. As such, we've made the decision to postpone the release date to February 14, 2025. The game will release on a broad range of platforms, yada, 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 yada. The pre-orders will be refunded and all future pre-orders will be granted the first expansion for free. So they're refunding the pre-orders, basically just erasing that they've made mo some money for the game. I don't know how that was called, but I think this is like tax cuts or something that was used. I think Concord used this tactic or other studios. I don't remember and I don't know if that's the exact terminology, but I know that companies do this. If someone can explain in detail in the comments, I'll be very grateful. We understand this decision will come as disappointing news, especially to those who've been waiting patiently for an Assassin's Creed game inspired by Fido Japan. Yeah, they can just play Ghost of Tsushima because it's a bit more respectful 
to Japan. But we sincerely believe this is in the best interest of the game and ultimately your experience as a player. Rest assured, we're looking forward to the moment you embark on a memorable adventure of Naoe Yasuke. Until then, we thank you for your ongoing support. So this came out after a they, they cancelled the press releases and questions and the panels on a major gaming event. I think it was like the state of play. I, on the Japanese Expo, sorry, uh, the Japanese uh, Game Expo. And this statement comes right after the trailer for Ghost of Yote. And whatever you might think about that game and about the things that are going around the voice actress for the main protagonist there, who is also a woman. And I will have a video about that in a couple of days because I want to gather some more information. The game trailer looked absolutely amazing. It looked much better than anything Assassin's Creed Shadows have put out in their trailers. It looked very much more respectful and toned in the style of a Japanese game and a Japanese theme game. Also, it didn't feature any rap music, which is also a plus in, the, in these trying times for video games. But the thing is, Ubisoft doing this after the trailer and just scrubbing the whole game and postponing it by several months just shows you how uncertain they feel about the game. Like they were telling everyone, this is fine. We're fine. We're doing okay. We're doing excellent. And in the meantime, they were losing ground beneath their feet with every post they made about the game. They, they couldn't even have an outstanding performance of the world trailer, which actually looked nice in some ways. And it had the problems which I mentioned a bit earlier. So they didn't, they couldn't even do this. And there were people trying to defend the trailer, like this is still in development and so on and so on. But it was again, like this is something that you're presenting the world and you want it to look as good as possible so you can hype as many people up, especially when you already have so much controversy behind your back. And if you don't believe me, this is live from Ubisoft today. 9.63, 9.61, you saw it with me, euro or share today. I posted a little bit earlier. Whoa, it actually went to 902. I posted it earlier today on my X that they were down to 9.2, like in the morning, like some somewhere around here, 9.25. Yeah, so, so, something like here. It went down to 9.02 and the closure, like the, the it closed yesterday at 11.42. This is two euro down while two might not sound a lot in a general concept when it's from 11 to 9 this is absolutely horrendous it's like 15 percent down for one day and if you go to my favorite five years you can see that it's 85 percent down which is absolutely abysmal this company is like it's it's worth probably around one Big Mac menu in Europe. This is how much a stock is worth for Ubisoft. This is what happens when you don't have your community in mind when you're doing a game, when you shake hands with companies like Sweet Baby Inc., when you hire activists, when you hire people who don't know what they're talking about, and most importantly, when you don't know how to admit your mistakes. There hasn't been a single apology from Ubisoft about all the desecrations they did to Japanese history. There has been only one post which was a semi-apology after they got caught stealing a flag from an official reenactment group in Japan. That's the only time they kinda apologized and it was only because they got caught. There was no apology for the Chinese structures, there was no apology for the rap music, there's no apology for the uh, desecration of history and including Yasuke as a samurai even though he is not and he was not. He was never a samurai and this is proven. There was no apology for the One Piece sword that they claimed it was an original Yasuke sword. They just fucked up so much on so many occasions in such a short amount of time for one single game. They refused to even discuss with their investors the pre-orders and how well they're doing or how badly they're doing just to hide information to keep the confidence. And they basically did the ostrich maneuver, just buried their heads in the ground and waited for the storm to pass. Well, it hasn't passed and it won't pass. And this delay is only making things worse and worse. I 
personally, currently, don't believe that Ubisoft will still be the same company in February. We already discussed on a previous video that there is a coup that is brewing inside the company with many smaller investors banding together and they're going to basically take the reins because of a law in France that permits this to happen. And I think that Ubisoft is either going to be bought out by someone or it's going to have an internal change that will completely completely make the company to something else hopefully it's going to be better however it's going to be a long time before that happens because these things take time and at the end you're just going to have more delays and more time to wait which might be a good thing because if in the end they actually manage to remake the, the game or just revamp it in a way that it will fix a lot of, at least the majority of the issues that are currently present it might still turn out to be a good game however at, as it sits at the moment it's losing the company money big time this delay has, was the worst decision but it was also the correct decision because if they had released the game as planned and it had flopped as everyone knows it was going to flop big time and it was would sell horribly then that would have been the immediate end of the company because you have poured hundreds of millions of dollars into this product and it's going to lose everything and not bring you back almost anything in return i only feel bad about the people who actually worked on the game like the people who have been told what to do and they're just doing it like the some of the younger designers or the costume makers or the VFX artists and etc. etc. who just were doing their job. This is probably something that they were looking forward to because probably they had some passion to have something that they made be on a screen of a, what was supposed to be a triple or quadruple A game. And now these people are either going to be left disappointed or worse going to be left without jobs and these people should be allowed to express themselves in my opinion but it remains to be seen what exactly the fate of assassin's creed will be we might just receive more surprises along the way anyways that's all i got for the video today thank you very much for joining me thank you very much for watching this video tell me what you think about this situation what do you think is going to happen in the future with Ubisoft, with Assassin's Creed Shadows. Comment your opinions down below. Follow me on my socials and support me on Patreon where I raise money for homeless animals and animals in shelters. Press the like and subscribe button to view more of my content when it comes out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and stay fresh.